I'd ever wondered about the role of potential transformers in electrical power systems? Well, you're about to find out. Let's dive into the world of potential transformers, often referred to as voltage transformers. These are not your everyday household transformers. They carry out a significant task in electrical power systems, stepping down high voltage to a lower, more standardized level. This stepping down process is critical as it makes the voltage suitable for measurement and protection devices. It's like a translator that allows us to understand and interact with the language of high voltage. Without this, the measurement and protection devices could be exposed to damaging high voltage levels. So in essence, potential transformers serve as a protective barrier, ensuring the voltage we handle is within safe and manageable limits. They are key to ensuring accurate voltage measurement and a safe interface for connected devices. So next time you think of voltage, remember the unsung heroes, the potential transformers. Now that we understand what potential transformers are, it's time to delve into how they work. At the heart of a potential transformer or PT is the principle of electromagnetic induction. This principle states that a change in the magnetic field within a loop of wire induces an electric current in the wire. PTs utilize this principle to step down high voltage to a safe standardized level. A PT consists of two coils of wire known as the primary and secondary windings wrapped around a magnetic core. The primary winding is connected to the high voltage power source. As the alternating current flows through the primary winding, it generates a magnetic field that varies with the current's changes. The secondary winding, which is isolated from the primary winding, is exposed to this changing magnetic field. Here's where the magic happens. The changing magnetic field induces a voltage in the secondary winding. This is where the step-down occurs. The number of turns in the primary and secondary windings determines the ratio of the voltage reduction. For instance, if the primary winding has a thousand turns and the secondary winding has a hundred turns, the voltage is stepped down by a factor of 10. The secondary winding is connected to measurement or protective devices, providing them with a safe, standardized voltage. This allows for accurate readings and ensures the safety of these devices by not exposing them to high voltage. It's important to note that while the voltage is stepped down, the power is not. This is because a PT is designed to accurately represent the voltage in the power system, not to supply power. Hence, the load connected to a PT should be minimal to avoid errors in voltage representation. In essence, potential transformers are like interpreters, translating the language of high voltage to a language that measurement and protective devices can understand and use safely. Understanding how potential transformers work gives us a glimpse into their vital role in electrical power systems. Potential transformers are versatile, finding their use in various aspects of electrical power systems. They are like the unsung heroes, working behind the scenes to ensure everything runs smoothly. Let's delve into some of their key applications. Firstly, potential transformers are the champions of voltage measurement. They accurately measure high voltages in power systems and step them down to a standardized level that's suitable for metering and control devices. It's like a translator converting complex high voltage language into something our devices can understand and work with. Now, imagine an orchestra without a conductor. Chaos, right? That's where potential transformers come in. They serve as conductors in the symphony of electrical power systems working hand in glove with voltage meters and other measuring instruments. They provide a safe and standardized voltage output, ensuring that these instruments can perform their roles without being exposed to high voltages. And then we have protective relaying. In the realm of power systems, protective relays act as the system's guardians, detecting abnormal conditions and initiating protective actions. Potential transformers are their trusty sidekicks providing voltage inputs and enabling these guardians to monitor for over-voltage or under-voltage conditions. Next on the list is control systems. Here, accurate voltage information is absolutely crucial for the system to function properly. 
potential transformers contribute to maintaining stable voltage levels and facilitating control actions. Let's not forget about metering. Potential transformers play a pivotal role in ensuring accurate energy metering. They provide a standardized voltage output, ensuring that energy meters measure power consumption reliably. In more advanced applications such as synchrophase or measurement systems, potential transformers provide synchronized voltage information across different points in the power grid. This is invaluable for real-time monitoring and analysis of the power system's dynamic behavior. And finally, during the testing and commissioning of power systems, potential transformers simulate voltage conditions for various devices, ensuring the proper functioning of protective relays, meters, and other equipment. Potential transformers thus serve critical roles in measurement, protection, control, and monitoring applications in power systems. Their impact might not be visible, but it's certainly indispensable. We've covered quite a bit about potential transformers. Let's recap. Potential transformers, or PTs for short, are crucial players in the world of electrical power systems. Their primary role is to step down high voltages to a more manageable, standardized level suitable for measurement and control devices. This doesn't just ensure precise monitoring of voltage levels across the system, but also offers a safe interface for devices connected to it. We delved into how these transformers work and their various applications. Remember how we discussed that PTs are the unsung heroes of voltage measurement? They allow for accurate readings, stepping down high voltages to levels that are safe for voltage meters and other measuring instruments. We also explored how PTs contribute to protective relaying. They provide voltage inputs to relays that monitor the system for any abnormal conditions such as overvoltage or undervoltage. This enables the relays to initiate appropriate protective actions, ensuring the safety and stability of the power system. Control systems also rely heavily on PTs. They need accurate voltage information for their proper operation. PTs help maintain stable voltage levels, facilitating control actions and contributing to the overall efficiency of the system. We can't forget about PTs' role in metering. They provide a standardized voltage output, ensuring that energy meters measure power consumption reliably. This allows for accurate billing and monitoring of electricity usage, an essential aspect of energy management. In more advanced applications like synchrophase or measurement systems, PTs provide synchronized voltage information across different points in the power grid. This real-time monitoring and analysis of the power system's dynamic behavior are invaluable. And of course, during the testing and commissioning of power systems, PTs simulate voltage conditions for various devices. This ensures the proper functioning of protective relays, meters and other equipment, guaranteeing the reliability of the system. In essence, potential transformers are versatile and indispensable components in electrical power systems. They have a hand in measurement, protection, control, and monitoring applications, proving their worth time and time again. Remember, the next time you look at complex electrical power systems, know that potential transformers are working behind the scenes, ensuring everything runs smoothly and safely.